Hey guys, what's up? It's Hal, and we're gonna be playing a game called To the Moon. So, just so you guys know, um, I have like a noise reduction on because I'm like right next to like a power supply and it makes like a buzzing noise. So my mic might sound a little weird, but it shouldn't be that terrible. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Mmm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. <sighs> Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, Christ is averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Got the sucker. Let's roll. I would like to explore, please. Or squirrel. Tisk tisk. Oh come on! I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. True. Oh. Hey, wait! Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Alright. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system? Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Um, just push it. All right, on three. One, two, three. I... I don't even. Me neither. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll... We'll figure that out. We'll figure that thing out later. Right. More squirrels? This game is very pretty. Ma, they're here. I'm trying to drink my tea.
Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I thought they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blant blathering, they won't. <laughs> I really like the dialogue for this game. And your eyelids will... <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. I've never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. What? Kinda ominous, don't you think? Dr. Ro Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no. I'm just his- I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny. Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Alright. Very cool. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Oh yeah. Save the equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Oh well, yeah, I don't really see what else we can explore down here. It's kind of empty. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who was carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Geez, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> Sorry, I'll talk to the medical doctor. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. 
Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Though the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, or for Pete's sake. Shh, just do your thing. Well... I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Dude, I wanna be Dr. Watts. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember, I remember you playing Watson. Eh, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Very cool. We're gonna explore. How do I... Walk around. Bathroom. Bathtub. Okay. Toilet. Think. Okay, well, there's nothing in here for me. Alright, what's over here? Can't turn the light on. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Okay. Very cool. Hey, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. What do you have? Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Ah, there's his heart monitor. Cool. Okay. I go talk to the children. It just shows me the same clock hand. Be the dark. Anything in here? Nope. Alright, let's go talk to the kids. Hello, children. 
What you want? Show me around the house. Hey, your mom told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars! Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Yeah, sure, why not? You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Yeah, sorry about that. There's that candy cane. Received candy cane. Booyah. It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. Alright, you little punks. Come here. Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the, the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Alright, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hides it inside a book in the study. Um, I'm assuming this is the study? This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okay. Ugh, almost stepped on the paint. Hmm. And the colors. The colors of that beautiful fabric. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. The child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which has been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. I think I remember a story like that. Um. Back on like HBO back in the day, they used to have like fairy tale stories or something. And I'm pretty sure one of the episodes was a story about a king who was tricked into a fabric and he went into town naked. Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Uh, maybe next time. The man sure knows where to hide things. Alright, kids. We can open the funny room in the basement now. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. A dusty pile of animorphs. Sit here, okay. Chest is locked. What is this? What are you kids standing on? Okay. 
The cabinet is filled with unused fine china. That's the books. Just locked. Okay, everything else is locked. Very cool. Hello, furnace. The door is locked. Now it's open. It's like a cave in here. Whoa. What the hell? Is that a platypus? Dude, it's a platypus! Look at it! It's so cute! I want a platypus. They're so adorable. Alright. What a hideous little creature. No, how dare you, Dr. Watts. He is a little platypus. Little platypi. Little cutie pie. I'm gonna take it. I'm not poking him. It's ours. Alright, this is fucking freaky, though. The rabbit folded out of paper. Um. Um. Broken music box. All right, we gotta go. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. You wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You weren't supposed to go in there either. Hehe. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any log cabinets around you too. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Yeah. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's kick some butts. Alright. We're gonna go to the lighthouse, bro. It's gonna be fantastic. Alright, not unless a tree blocks my way. It's here! Uh... My novelty beach ball. I thought I lost it. Oh. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. <sighs> we don't have time for this. Okay, done. Right, now let's just head to the lighthouse. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosaline. Yeah. I don't know if it's Rosaline or Rosaline, so... I'm, I'm just gonna pick one now. I'm gonna go with Rosaline. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Oh, a squirrel! What is this? Don't worry, kids. I got this. We're fighting a squirrel? The best defense is a good defense. Offense. Okay. Alright, tsunami kick. This ends here. <laughs> Stop it, or we're gonna tell Ma you animal abuse. 
<laughs> yeah, she'll call the cops on you. Aw, oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna... Don't you like role-playing? You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. Well, that's the lighthouse. Okay, seems like we made it here. Doesn't like turtles. Aspiring professional ice cream taster aiming for the top. What's that over there? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right here. This is it. A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these though? Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. I <sighs> should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this. Yo, all those rabbits are creepy, bro. What the cactus were you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass? Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on, we're going in. Alright, I'm going to end part one right here, and we will start part two.